is broke, shoes are untied, time is a tip, so is the time, but I ain't not worried, things are what they are, come rain or come shine or a shooting star. so much as fun as knocking down a building or at least part of it. Hi guys, I'm Mike. Welcome back to the weekly vlog. I'm going to show you why we knocked down that shed here in just a, well, maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow we'll talk about it. Today we've got another project that we're going to go take a look at and this one is all for you guys. For the last couple years on our website we've actually had, hi, hi Goose, uh, we've actually had uh, the webcam which faces out to the south of the ranch and allows people at any time to take a look around and, and see what's happening on the ranch uh, right now of course there's not a whole lot going on it's pretty pretty quiet out there but because of that we wanted to give you guys a whole new experience and because we moved the goats last week over here to our brand new goat area which is working out really well we figured we would institute a brand new webcam on the ranch and i should have it up and running by the time this video comes out we're calling it the goat cam i might have to call it the goat slash chicken cam because i think i'm going to put it right up here in this corner of the the little goat pen and then also you'll be able to see the chickens in the chicken run. So this is basically the view that you're gonna get. That's what you're gonna get on the goat cam. So um, in order to get this whole thing up and working, I am going to first grab our camera, which I can't remember where I put it. I put it right over here. This is it. This is the goat camera. It's actually a Nest camera that has been modified a little bit. It runs just off a of battery. All it needs is Wi-Fi. We just set it out here and supposedly it just goes and runs. So uh, I've got a little mounting plate for it. It's magnetic, um, but I'm gonna be putting it on wood. I've got a little mounting plate for it that I have to attach to the wall somehow. 
and uh, and then we should be good to go. So that's all there is to it. Let's get it set up. So all we have is a little tiny circular mounting bracket and we just have to screw into the piece of wood. Well, you might be able to reach it. Huh, if I put it there, you're pretty close to being able to reach it. Maybe I should put it up a little bit higher. Maybe like up in here. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put this up here. All I have to do is put this on here. That, very simple. And then the camera locks right on there. Now, all I have to do is jump on my little Nest app and log in a new camera, which is this one. And the last step of the entire process is getting that camera that we set up down there on the goats onto the interweb. So I've had to add it onto our website, which was, eh, it was okay, it wasn't horrible. Um, and now we have two webcams here on the ranch. Let's take a look at them. So the first one that you guys are probably familiar with, if you've been to our website before, ourwomenlife.com, you can actually view the pasture cam. That camera looks right out to the south and over uh, about, uh, I don't know, 20, 30 acres or something like that. That, uh, that camera is pretty much filled with cows uh, all winter long. So it's a great camera uh, to, to watch if you wanna kind of chill out and watch us feeding cows in the winter time, that kind of stuff. But now, there's nothing going on right there. There's no cows out there. There's a couple horses wandering around. Every once in a while you'll see a steer walk by, but that's pretty much it. In fact, as I look at it right now, there's literally nothing going on on the uh, on, on the pasture cam. But now that I've got the goat camera added on there, you just scroll down a little bit, and there it is. There is the goat camera. Uh, right now it looks like Jack is hiding in their little house. Um, everybody else might be in there or might be inside. Not exactly sure what's going on. Bunch of chickens, off doing chicken stuff. And over here on the side uh, is a chat room where you can actually chat with other people that are watching the webcam right now. The chat is currently full. I can't even, I can't even get into it. I'm trying, um, but the chat is full. Chat is currently full, so I can't even get in there. But that is a new thing here on the website. You can check that out and, uh, and see what's up. Lots of stuff going on this week. Uh, on the ranch. We're going to be getting bulls out. Um, we're actually working on that today, so uh, we'll get the bulls pulled out and film a video for Wednesday, which you guys will have seen by the time this comes out. But tomorrow, um, we're going to go out and see what all that deconstruction was was all about. Uh, we're going to take a look at Doof Vader and see what he's up to as he gets to stay on the ranch. The other bulls are going to be going away. And uh, we'll lead into the week with hunters also. This is uh, the beginning of hunting season this week on October 1st. So the hunters will be arriving uh, from California, from Rockland, California, which is just outside of Sacramento, and from Silver Springs, Nevada, I guess. One of them defected out of California. But uh, they will be here. We'll be able to hang out with them. I think we're going to do an antelope feed on... I don't even remember what night that is. Thursday night, maybe? I can't remember. <laughs> and, of course, uh, we'll check out and see how their hunt goes uh, throughout the week. Also, maybe we'll come back on Saturday and check in with them. So, that's it for me. Go to the website, rwyomonglife.com. Check out the free webcams where you can watch the goats doing goat things. Just a quick warning, I will turn it off occasionally. Um, if the kids are over there playing with the goats or we have something else going on that uh, that we that we kind of want a little privacy for, uh, we will turn that camera off. So, it may show temporarily off. But um, that's usually when we're having goat time. If we decide to have it over there, we want our kids to have a little bit of privacy. And I know that you totally understand. So thank you very much, and we'll see you tomorrow. Why won't it let me in the chat room? You think I'd have, like, priority or something. <laughs> Can't even get in there. Chat's currently full. Welcome back. I uh, had to change hats. My... Uh, my, my cowboy hat was a little sweaty after moving those bowls all day, but uh, we've got them taken care of. And now, uh, I know it was a bit of a, a bit of a, a tease at the beginning of this week's vlog where we were moving the roof from uh, the bull shed, actually on the north side of the road, um, but this is what is left. That's all of it as we remove a whole bunch of old barns and stuff from over here on this side of the road. And this is normally where the bulls would be living. Um, and since we only have one bull, he can live in the Aeroquip for the winter. And we can do a whole bunch of work on this side of the road and get a whole bunch of new things and exciting things up and ready to go. And that's where Ranch Hand Jeff comes into play. How are you, Jeff? Good. 
You changed hats too. Yeah. Actually, you didn't have a hat on because people were giving that's, us crap. They right. said you need to buy Jeff a hat and some and, a, and some my, glasses. I've got my favorite hat here. Is that your favorite hat? That's my favorite hat. Well, second favorite oh, hat. I was going to say, geez. damn, man. Oh, no, man. it's okay. It can be your favorite <laughs> hat. That's totally fine. So uh, this summer we did uh, Harvest Host once again, and that's where we invite people to come and stay on the ranch with their RVs, and we do tours every single morning, and we had three spots all summer long, and each one of those spots was dang near filled every single day in between Memorial Day and Labor Day, or Labor Day and Memorial Day, because I can never keep straight which one's yeah. which. But uh, those were filled up constantly. Constantly. And so uh, Aaron and uh, Jeff and I sat down, mostly Aaron, and decided that uh, we were going to make the RV area bigger on the ranch. And in order to do that, we had to eat into the bull pasture a little bit, which really isn't that big of a deal. But we had some buildings that we had to deal with as well. And so Jeff actually built this new little section of fence for us, which then connects what we used to call the sheep shed. Uh, when we had sheep, this is where the sheep would stay. Uh, this is our sheep shed. It's now going to become our bull shed. What was the sheep pasture becomes the bull pasture. And what was the bull pasture will become... We don't know yet. We'll get there though. So the bull shed, which is the shed that you guys were always used to me filling up water and all that kind of good stuff. It, that's the thing that we tore the, the roof off of and we're in the process of completely removing. And one of the things that we had to do was on this side, we have to actually flip-flop the sheep shed. I'm going to see if I can really confuse people because I'm confusing <laughs> myself. We had to flip-flop the sheep shed. So the sheep shed had the opening on this side originally. You can see down there. Uh, we took the back of the bull shed, moved it over here onto the front of the sheep shed. And Jeff, you're doing something on the inside that will prohibit us from using it for a big giant box. Yeah. of nothing because yeah, we yeah. we almost made a big giant box of air when we realized oh wait a minute if you have a building you have to have a way to get in and out right right so in here let me turn on the light because it's a little dark there we go in here um is uh this is the sheep shed and jeff is in the process of building us a couple doors so we'll have a door here we're taking out this section we're going to put a gate and then we're going to have a door down there going into the alley, which is the regular loadout area where you've seen us load out the, the bulls. Does that make sense? Jeff, does that make sense? That makes sense I to me. I hope it makes sense, I hope. So you told me that this one is about ready to come down. Yes. So I'm gonna go outside. Me too, because that's where I have to go. Oh, you have to do, okay, then I'm gonna, well, dang it. Is it gonna fall inside or outside? It's gonna fall out. Is it gonna fall on you? If no. you're cutting from that side, I don't want you to get no. smushed. No. Okay. I'll be to the side, kind of. Okay, so I'm gonna, I think I'm going to stay again. in here then. Like that. I'm going to stay in here. <laughs> I'm going to film it falling and so everybody can see the door fall away. Okay. And that way, if one of us gets smushed, then we're just out one of us. Yeah. Okay, good deal. So I'm cutting down here, so that's where the saw come through. <laughs> Which I know you're damn near done, right? Yeah. So it, this... It can't fall in because of the angle cut here. Okay. So... It, it cannot fall in. So you just have to cut. In. What's left to cut? Down the tin. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. We'll uh, so we'll hang can... out in here and, and play it safe. Okay. It's loud. Is it? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Uh, this will become a gate so that the bulls can get in from that side, and uh, we're going to actually redo their entire bull pasture. In fact, uh, this area out here is going to be the new bull pasture. This area up here. Uh, it's roughly about five acres or so. It's plenty of room for them to, to live in. All the rest of this will come out. We've got some major cleanup to do. In fact, you can see we've got pieces of buildings laying everywhere. Um, we're going to actually knock this fence that you can see down there back a couple hundred feet. And then we're going to do a bunch of leveling. And uh, we'll bring you guys along for all that because Gary has a great big old scraper, the kind that you see on the highways doing all the work. Um, we're going to bring that in. We're going to start leveling the ground. And then we're going to build RV spots. So we're going to go from three RV spots all the way to five. And then eventually, um, I would like to have a little little barn over here, maybe some place to have some breakfast or something like that. So I know Jeff can hear me talking. So he's not, uh, he's not cutting yet because he can hear me talking. So let's just be quiet. And we're going to let Jeff tear some crap up. Got it? I hope. <laughs> Are you out of the way? I am.
It's like the Kool-Aid man. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, that's a big hole. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Need a break? Uh, eventually. Need some water? Well, no, never mind. I... What am I talking about? You need some Mountain Dew? I have some. Let's go have a dew break. We'll talk about uh, how much we've got left to do over here. So, five spots for RVs, lots of leveling to do. We're also talking about uh, obviously putting in some infrastructure, so some electricity, um, some new road coming through here to be able to guide folks. So, if you're interested in, uh, in visiting the ranch uh, next year uh, during the summer, probably I'm thinking May through maybe October, something like that of next year, um, be sure to sign up for Harvest Host or just go to our website and check it out there and uh, you can get your spot reserved on our online calendar. So it's kind of nice to see progress though. It is very yeah. nice. Yeah, once, uh, actually once we get done with all this, then it's kind of Gary's problem for a little while because he's not gonna, well, he might let you drive the scraper. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. see? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> all righty guys, uh, what do we got going on? We've got uh, hunters on the way tomorrow. We're gonna check in with our California hunters and see what their plan is to, to hunt, obviously, but also uh, cause us all kinds of grief and extra work. So we're gonna check in with them tomorrow. In the meantime, thanks for hanging out with us. We'll see you later. Hey guys, and welcome to Thursday on the ranch. <laughs> we're hanging out in down, well, not downtown, but we're in Gillette, Wyoming. Uh, we are hanging out at the Hilton Home 2 Hotel. Kenzie, why are we here? Hunters are here again. The hunters are back. You, remember, remember, you may remember the hunters uh, from California. They are here to, uh, to do their antelope hunting this year. Here's a story of a couple ranchers who had a load of antelope. They just needed to, to get rid of them before they eat their house at home. Here's a story of some Californians who really wanted summer hunt. Let's look for all the pronghorn, especially a trophy buck. And not only are they here, they're right out here. So let's go say hi to the California hunters and uh, and see what they're up to today. This guy, Giant Bob. What hi you, guys. How long have you been hunting on the ranch? Have you, has anybody figured that out? Yeah, this is year six. This is year six. Yeah. Uh, any count on antelope that have been taken off the ranch in six years? Oh my goodness. Could you imagine? We got 17 last year, so I'm gonna say somewhere in the neighborhood of 80 plus. A lot, a lot of antelope been taken off. What are we doing tonight, Bob? We're having our annual night before opener kickoff antelope steak dinner. Antelope steak dinner. All right, let's get to it. All right. Even Jeff is here. Look at that. Have you ever had antelope before, Jeff? Never. Never. Are you looking forward to having antelope, Jeff? Um, <laughs> Could be interesting. <laughs> if you're going to be a ranch hand on the ranch, you got to eat some wild game, buddy. Uh, you know, we, we have cows. <laughs> yeah. Lots and lots of cows. <laughs> we raise beef. That's one thing they always ask me. They're like, do you, do you hunt? And I'm like, no, I got freezers full of beef. Why would I, why would I hunt? Are you going to try some antelope? No. No. Kenzie. Yeah, should you just go get it? You going to try antelope? No. No. Do you want to spray it? Aaron's yeah. got some steak over here. I'm not eating it. Okay. Hey. Gracie, you want to try some antelope? Yeah, I don't want? know. You don't know. You always, you're my trier of everything. <laughs> you might try a little bit, right? Mm. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> the antelope steak, delicious. And uh, opening season tomorrow. Are you guys stoked? Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we can hardly go. wait. <laughs> hardly wait. You got 13 total tags. You got seven That's days correct. to do it. You got no problem whatsoever. No problem. We are so looking forward. This is the one time of the year I look forward to more than anything. Getting yep. up here and seeing my Wyoming family. There you go. Yep. There you go. We enjoy being here, and uh, it'll be another year after we're done, and I can hardly wait. There you go. We'll get uh, we'll get out with these guys here over the next couple of days and uh, check it out and see what hunting's like in Northeast Wyoming. Thanks for joining us tonight. Appreciate it. <laughs> On our. Guys. Why are we guys? <laughs> <laughs>
earlier. I think uh, might even be in the 50s. So very cool to play and, uh, and very cool to be able to share with people from all over the world to come here to stay in the Airbnb. Thank you very much to Chris for helping us with our painting needs. Of course, Chris has been hunting here on the ranch, like I said, for years. He's happy to help us out, uh, basically uh, just kind of donating his time, really. Uh, we did end up paying him a little bit, but uh, uh, really just kind of donating his time for all the years that he's had to hunt here on the ranch. And, and it works out well for us, of course, and, uh, and it works out well for the people that stay here. If you are in the Denver area and you are looking for a handyman, call my friend Chris. He'll be happy to help you out. In the meantime, I'm going to play some pinball as long as I'm over here. Thanks guys, have a great day and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Hi guys, welcome to Saturday here on the ranch. And uh, you know, I always, seems like every week, by the time I get to Saturday, I've realized that I've formed some sort of theme uh, for the week and I think that this week isn't any different because now I realize that pretty much everything we film this week all has to do with people being on the ranch whether it's Chris or Jeff or the hunters and really I got to thinking about it and, and a ranch doesn't run with just one person I mean it can but it probably doesn't do it as well as it can with a supporting staff now, that supporting staff can be friends, it can be family, it can be whatever you need it to be. But this week, for us, it's been a lot of friends and a lot of people that I've met that I, I never would have met uh, without the ranch. Whether it was Chris, who I met eight years ago, who just happened to stop by and said, hey, is there any chance that we can hunt here? Or the hunters, who kind of did the same thing. They heard about us through the grapevine, ended up giving me a call one year, and then showed up the next. And of course, Jeff, who just kind of works on Jeff time and shows up whenever Jeff wants to. So it's a, it's an interesting thing that when everything kind of clicks together and, and we've got plans and we want to get things done and we want to make things better. And of course, um, you know, having these people here helps us to do that. The hunters are in the sale barn right now. And I promised that I would give you guys a little update on how their week is going. Now it's the second day of hunting season. And I know that they got two or three antelope yesterday, but I'm not sure how they've done so far today. Hello. This is a new kitten on the ranch. Friendly kitten. Uh, this one's name is S'more. So if anybody's looking for a kitten, happens to be driving through. Very, very friendly little boy. Yeah, you are. A very loud motor too. All right, we're going to duck into the sale barn and we're going to see what the hunters are up to and how they did for the day and see if there's any good hunting stories that I can share with you. You shoot a cow, you will not leave this property without paying a ten thousand dollar fine. Ten thousand dollars? I've shot lots of cows, Bob. <laughs> I let them know that up front. <laughs> So back here in the sale barn hanging out, uh, we've got uh, uh, Bob the Giant Hunter who you've met before. Ricky, I'm not sure if you've ever been in a video. This is your second here on the ranch, second year on yeah, the ranch. And, uh, and of course, Greg over there, who's just Mr. Kickback and Relax, he'll get his antelope Tomorrow. two hours before they leave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <pretty much. laughs> he just waits until they all get up and moving. You guys have hunted now two days on the ranch. How many total animals? Eight. Eight already, oh my gosh. And how many more today? Uh, we have four today. Four today. Four yesterday, four today. Any good uh, hunting stories today? Everybody's always asking me for hunting stories. Not Make really. something up if you can't think Not of it. really. I mean, uh, the first day there was four animals harvested in about 15 shots. <laughs> that it was, was just... not. It was not a great day. It was a warm-up day, I guess. Yeah, there you go. And uh, But today we've killed four animals in five shots. Oh, there you go. So it was a good day today. Much yeah. more economical as well. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> That's funny. No, no real stories. I mean, it's everybody's yeah. safe. Everybody's having a great time. What happened so. to that one that he shot? 
put the buck to when he came on over. Uh, we're not going to talk about that. Oh, okay. Needless to say, that's a censored part. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, one, one that Greg shot this morning. Oh, you, you did take a shot this morning, Greg. Greg yeah. got one. Oh, you got, got one. one. Okay, okay, okay. But the one that Greg shot, it was standing there ready to fall over, and uh, the, the buck came and mounted it. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, so it's... One last that's, go. That's a first. Yeah. yeah. That was interesting. A first and last. That's yeah. interesting. I, uh, I usually keep a radio on so I can hear you guys. And uh, I got to say, it's, it's entertaining, yes. to say the least. Uh, <laughs> I'm okay. glad it's not recorded. No, it's not. It's not usually. <laughs> anyway. If it is, it's all on accident. But it's uh, um, definitely, uh, um, yeah, it's, it's not safe for kids no, most of the not. time. Yeah, no. yeah. But it's, it's interesting to listen to. So. Uh, this week's vlog um, is all about uh, people coming to the ranch and helping out. You know, we had Chris painting across the road. Of course, we have we have Jeff and you, we have you guys as well who help us out in, in a multitude of different ways. Um, and what most people don't know is that you guys actually manage our hunting for us. That's correct. And uh, these guys are the ones who basically vet any hunters that come to the right. ranch. So if you're interested in hunting on the ranch, just like these guys, well, not just like these guys, you guys can probably do it better. But uh, <laughs> if you fill out your application, it comes to Mike and me, and then I look at it and I forward it to a couple of the guys that are retired, right? And they vet them and do a research background check on them, and then we invite them to hunt or we don't. Exactly, and so we'll be opening up hunting applications after the first of the year, uh, this year, next year, I guess I should say, January first, and, 1st. Uh, yep. and we, we can get rolling on that. So um, should be a lot of fun. You guys have how many days left here? Uh, today's the second. We're leaving on the eighth, so we right. have five more hunting days. Yeah, you're going to see more from uh, from Bob, the giant hunter, Greg over here, and of course Ricky, and then the other two that are out there still working yeah. for some reason. Not exactly sure why, uh, but uh, they're working, and I'm refreshing. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> I'm all done hunting. Guns put away. That's the only reason we can have a cold beer. There you go. If the guns are not put away, we don't have any alcohol. That makes sense. There you go, guys. Uh, that's the end of the weekly vlog for this week. We'll be back on uh, Wednesday with a brand new video here on Our Wyoming Life. And then, of course, next Sunday. Also, uh, live stream this weekend, Sunday night, or tonight, I guess, actually, I guess if you're, if you're watching this, um, 7 p.m. Mountain Time. You can catch Aaron and I. We're going to catch up on what we've been up to, and we're going to talk all about Aaron's new venture into TikTok and the whole TikTok world. So be sure to come around and check that out on the Beyond the Ramp channel. Until I see you again, have a great week, and thanks for joining us on our Wyoming Life.